Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second episode. I really enjoy to have you here with me. Today we will do the first setup of the K4 in CO2 laser, so you will know everything you need for that. And because this laser is a pile of scrap, you will see a lot more. And also it was sent broken to me. So you will see how I disassemble a lot of it, assemble it the right way and also adjust the mirrors. And finally do my first piece with the K40 laser. And of course this wasn't my first try. Enjoy it. There are four things not included in this laser set you need for the first setup. The first and most important thing is the laser glasses. That's very important even if you just work with the closed cover here because this glass here hasn't any certifications. And it's very important that your laser glasses has a CE certification and a protective wavelength from 10,300 nanometers to 10,800 nanometers. I really wouldn't trust this safety glasses. Maybe it's just a colored acrylic glass. So I really wouldn't risk my eyes for that. The second thing you definitely need is some type of laptop or computer. And in my case, I installed K14 Whisperer. You also need a bucket or some type of box for the cooling liquid. And of course, you need the cooling liquid. In my case, I take screen wash, but you also can take distilled water. But there are three arguments why I take screen wash. The first thing, it's blue colored, so you will see bubbles in the cooling system. The second thing, there's alcohol in it, so it won't freeze. And the third thing, because of the alcohol, the cooling liquid won't get bad. At first we will improve our cooling liquid box, so we will drill two holes for the tubes and cut a groove for this cable here. So how I already told you, the laser was sent broken to me and the ugly noise you heard was a stepper motor which can't turn because the laser wasn't assembled the right way. And here you can see the problem. It was assembled like that but should be assembled like that. So after figuring out what the problem was, I reassembled everything the right way then I cleaned everything and sprayed some silicon spray on the plastic wheels. I also tightened up every screw and also realized that the quality of the laser is very, very bad. And there are a lot of things I would do differently because they are just constructed really dumb. But to be honest, finally the laser works and it works quite well. Because we had to disassemble the complete laser, now we have to align the mirrors. And that's really simple. Trust me, I will show you. I did a little research and the most sellers recommend a current between 10 and 30 milliamps. And if you want your laser to stay long, this is where it should stay. So just grab a marker 
and mark the maximum current so you won't go over it. And for aligning our mirrors, you have to turn on the laser, turn on the laser switch and then press very short the test switch. And be careful because the duct tape could fire up. The right way to adjust your laser beam is to start with the laser tube. You have to adjust the position of the laser tube so the laser beam is exactly in the middle of the first mirror. The paper duct tape will help you a lot. Now you can adjust the first mirror. Adjust the first mirror so that the laser beam is exactly in the middle of the second mirror. And now adjust the second mirror. Adjust the second mirror so that the laser beam is exactly in the middle of the hole in the laser head that you will see now. And of course don't forget to clean your mirrors from time to time because burning paper duct tape will make your mirrors very nasty and if you don't do that maybe you can damage your mirrors. To be honest with you, adjusting the mirrors is taking a lot of times and attempts until everything works fine, but I'm pretty sure that really everyone is able to do that. You just need some time and have to be patiently. And the good thing is, the longer you will do that, the better you will get. I mean, look at me how many attempts I needed, but finally everything works fine and now we can go on. And here you can see the first results of raster engraving and laser cutting. So once you set up everything, everything works fine and I really enjoy to work with the laser. I really hope you enjoyed this whole video and in the next episode there will be a lot of testing of different materials and one of them will be carbon fiber. And in the whole season there will be some giveaways of some upgrade kits. So subscribe and turn on notification so you won't miss a chance of winning something. Bye. <laughs>